Okay, we're having dinner with all the team from our project. Agostino, qui è questo? O gazzo. 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 Che bello. Che bello. Yeah. So, you all remember that Agostino, Eleonora, Luca, and Francesco. And the beautiful bride, Claire. So, we've uh, got everybody out here for a, uh, for a celebratory, celebratory uh, dinner with everybody just to thank them for uh, being such good good sports with our uh, renovation. Eccolo, eccolo. Eccolo, eccolo. Eh. Oh, che fai di coglioni con sto basilico che non è manco quello di Napoli, dai. Oh, è contente. Eh? Sei contento? Eh, eh, le radici sono radici. Eh. Ecco. Sei dentro. Sì, non può fare la porta. Lì che non cazzo. Eh, dentro cazzo. A me mi sembra più una... Mi faccio una foto. Mi faccio una foto. Mi faccio una foto. Mi faccio una foto. Però le cose me le dite. E secondo me... So, so, Luca has given us a present. Gem is a phrase, fragola. fragola. Oh, strawberry. Strawberry, uh, orange. Oh, wow. Look at that. Orange. Arancio. Arancio. Apricot. Yes. Beautiful. And Susina. No, this is a, no, this That's is That's the fridge That's the strawberry. Susina. What's that? Uh, uh, Susina, I, I don't know the English name. Uh, uh, the fruits that you can find uh, now in the fridge. <laughs> <laughs> Tell me what it tastes like. Plums, no, maybe. Plums? Plums? Yum, right. I don't know what it is. We think these holes were left over from the Al Capone days. Professionals, just bear with me. Just bear with me. I'm gonna need another coat because they were deep holes. Deep bullet holes. Just let, so that, let dry. that dry, blend it in. And should, as Phil should have waited a bit longer. It's too as Phil said, what did you say? Don't come, the professionals don't come at him. But we get a very good result doing it this way. We make do with what we can. Squish it in. Camera's gonna slip. Don't be a nasty man. I was gonna say something else, but I didn't think out. Well, G I'm the one. Crew. I'm the one that's holding the camera. One false move. What the hell are you doing? Painting here because when you get your curtain up. I want it to be pretty on the inside. Yeah, no, thanks for that. A special curtain under the under the sink. Yeah, I've got an idea in my head, but I won't, I won't reveal it just yet. Well, I need to know if I approve. No, that's my curtain. <laughs> my under sink curtain. That noise, guys, in the background. I can't stop it. It's our neighbour. She's got noisy clothesline. Oh, I'm going out there. I'll come and show you.
so yeah, the money gets sprung. Yeah, it's all right for you. I'm the one that's holding the camera. Huh? So um, she does it at all hours of the, of the night. For two people, they got a lot of washing. Seriously. It's like a family of 10. It's like the Brady Bunch. She's a lovely lady. She's lovely. They're both lovely. They're we both love them. lovely. We're but very lovely. that noise. And you can't, I've been offering to give them some uh, WD-40 or some anti... Um, squeaking <laughs> mixture but you can't reach can't reach them so the wheels cannot be oiled or wd-40 so i'm gonna have to put up with it all hours of the night but they're cute this is our big saturday night everyone paintbrush in one hand wine in the other so mm. Look, I won't lie, it's a little bit too hot for a uh, red wine, but geez, it's beautiful, though. We'll have yeah. to buy um, a rosé when we do the shopping. Yeah. So, all we need to do of the undercoat is that wall and a little bit next to the chimney. We don't really need to undercoat for lime paint, but we colours. don't, yeah, the colour just comes through a little bit, so we're we're blocking it out with some with some white paint. So. I reckon someone's fallen asleep after uh, too much red wine. Precious, wake up. Yeah. Oh, you are awake. Yeah. What would you call this uh, painting method? Freaking good is what I call it. Yeah, it looks great. Really good. Really good. Looks like some preschool uh, preschool kids done it. No need to be nasty. I'm just stating a fact. Love you. What do you mean the preschooler? <laughs> look at that. So what it's supposed to look. Oh, okay. I reckon we'll just leave it like that as a feature wall. And then it will dry. Oh, it will dry. It will be nice. Yep. I can hope so. Yep. But the cutting in is pretty good. There you go. So we've started with the putting together the IKEA kitchen, which is like. That's it, we're finished. We're going home now. That was one take. It wasn't bad. So what we want to do is we just want to position everything. So that's the reason why we don't have the rail in yet for everybody saying, where's the rail? Um, where's the rail? Where's the rail? So we just want to position everything because of... Sunny alcove. Sorry, I think we're playing the alcove up way too much. That's all right. We need to put them all here because the walls are out of whack a little bit, so we need to space them. So let's make them all up. We can put them here and then we can play around with them. Freestanding stove in the middle. This is at the moment.
appointment temporary, obviously. And then we're going to have two little narrow cabinets, one each side. The insert in this is going to have spices, etc. And it's just going to have shelves, so that's where we'll store things like breadboards and platters. Yeah, the tiles. This is the first look at our tiles that we that we got. So we wanted something a little bit different, something to add a little bit more colour in the room. We didn't want all the same tile, and we we're able to find this one. Ooh, that there's it, five tops. Yeah, there's diff five different styles in each box. So we'll be able to mix and match those. They're going in here. They're going in here, and then they're going to wrap around the sink area. And I know you're going to ask who's going to lay them. We are. But aren't they beautiful? So beautiful colours. Picking in the green that's in the walls. And then it's introduced some blue.
stopped. Well, what was the time now? And we're getting fast forward. The time now is 1.05. It wasn't when we finished. Okay. I think we have 15 minutes. Is that... So this cabinet's going above the fridge, so this will give us an idea of spacing in between these two. Okay. So that's going... <coughs> that's going up there, On correct. the wall above the fridge. On yep. the wall above the fridge, yep. correct, yep. And then the appliance cupboard. Yep, this is going to be on top and then another cupboard on top of that. Okay. It's coming together. Yep. So we have a 30... What about the PowerPoint? Don't worry about that. That's not it. So everything's going to come across. We're going to pick up 5 mil. We don't yet... That can go. I've got, I've got five mil there, yeah. Yeah. Well, you got more got because. Ten mil there. So then we have. For all the good folks at home, you've heard us mention the alcove. Here it is. Phil will point it out. Said alcove. Now. We're having trouble to work out what to do. What to put in the alcove. So this is, step back this way, I'll show the good folk. Okay. Much, the configuration. So we're gonna, this cabinet goes level with the top and our fridge sits in here. So pretend there's just a fridge there. So that's got two big doors on it. So glass doors all across the top. Yep, glass doors. Glass doors and then solid doors at the bottom and you can see our door and they're not staying white. They are going to so be roughly, painted. Roughly? Roughly that. Okay. Roughly. You see this design. But it's this alcove that's causing us some grief. So this is going to have a um, solid bench. It's having Go a bench all, on it. All the way to here. So this is our pretend bench going all the way into the corner. So then what do we put in this space? So I'm so happy to... we're thinking of open shelving and you'd be looking straight at them rather than them being tucked away in the corner. So we'll... Um, we'll show you what the end result will be. Yep. We'll nut it out over the next couple of weeks. It's where we're going. We're okay, heading... <laughs> We're heading to the pool, everyone, and this is the path on the way up there. Can you hear the cicadas? How beautiful. What a way to walk to go to the pool. Bill, do you mind giving me a hand? Because I'm holding the camera. It's a steep... Oh, thank you. A steep path. I'm going to turn it off so I can use my hands to, for balance. So that's the shortcut. See you later. Up the hill. So this beautiful place. Wow. So this piscina, everybody, was has been closed for four to five years. I'm not sure why when or how but now i think a, a group of uh, people have bandied together i think it was about four or five and um spent all this time and money and effort getting it back uh, back up and going again so i think it's fantastic for the uh for cortana we're only how many uh how many meters left from from the main drag you reckon we've walked up the hill oh we've, we've probably walked up 800 meters yeah. from our house yeah 800 to okay so it uh, looks busy already, and yeah, great for our little town. Yeah, let's go in. Just what we need on a day that's 35 degrees will be fabulous. Andrea. <laughs> Front row seats. 
This is fantastic. Huh? Yeah. So they've done a great job. Could be anywhere. How good is this? That's lovely. Just what you need after two, three weeks of above 30 degrees every time. Okay, let's go and explore a little bit more of the of that piscina. What's up here? Oh wow. Lots of space, more sun baking. There's a bar, some undercover stuff. Oh, this is very cool. All a top of Cortona. has to be spritz time cheers everybody cheers we hope you enjoyed this week's out tuscan townhouse please make sure you tune in next week you won't believe what you see we uh, take a little bit of a uh, road trip to passignano sul trasimano where they hold their annual palio del barchi you will not believe the spills and thrills that those boys go through